So what came first? The egg or the chicken? The Rubik's Cube or CFOP? What a hard question to answer it is. So put your answers below in order to err uh, to accept this lesson. Okay, fix that. Hi guys, the Epic Huber Andrew over here, and welcome to my channel. And over here on my channel, I do a bunch of Ruby related content, so definitely check it out in my channel below. And recently, I just started to do some cinematic stuff, so definitely check it out. And if you like this video, don't forget to like and even subscribe for even more Ruby related content. First of all, we need to clarify a couple of things. First of all, you need to know notation, okay? I believe you guys kind of know what notation is. What? You guys haven't heard about it? Okay, at least you guys should know what you should do is. The guy who like literally beat up like Felix and Deck with like a point A, like 3.47. So amazing that guy. You guys don't know him? You gotta be serious, okay? Check out the video. In addition, you guys need to know the pieces of the cube. So there are centers in the center of the cube. There are edges at the edges of the cube. And there are also corners at the corners of the cube, okay? I'm going to refer to them actually a bit. So, CFOP stands for cross, first two layers, orientation of the last layer, and permutation of the last layer. So, to make it easier, we're going to break down the steps. So, cross is still going to be cross. First two layers is going to become the first layer and the second layer. Then, we're going to go on to the orientation of the last layer, which is going to be broken up to the yellow cross and soon. So for the permutation of the last layer, we're going to solve the corners, then we're going to solve the edges. And the first step, we're going to make a white cross, so we're going to look for the white edges, not the white corners, okay? Don't mistake those together, so we're going to look for the white edges and make a cross. And you're going to get pieces up to the top, then you put it above their own center, so now this blue piece is above its center. And then you're going to do the out, which is the first case. This is the first case, so the white piece is facing up. And we're going to do F2. So F2, there we go. Okay, and that brings us straight to case number two. You can see over here. So for case number two, you can see, what we're going to do is instead, we're going to do this. You see? Okay, and you can see, there we go. Case number two is done. We're gonna getting pieces out or moving them or even doing case number two, okay? Make sure that you don't destroy the pair. You can see over here. So if I bring this up, boom, destroy it. You can see what I just did. I kind of damaged this. So actually, first of all, I'm gonna put this above its center. I'm gonna put it above its center and then I'm gonna solve the pair I destroyed. Then I'm gonna solve it, okay? And it can also apply. Sometimes, so you can also get case number two, and you can see if I do the same, just watch this piece, and you can see this piece gets kind of, you know, broken, right? So what you're gonna do instead is fix it. That brings us to our second step, the first layer. So what you're gonna do is first of all put the white cross at the bottom, and we're gonna look for specifically white corners and that kind of brings us to the cases so we have four cases over here and case number one is when the corners are on the top and you can see the white piece is facing towards the right side and in front of you that's really important since sometimes it can be also be facing towards the right side but at the back so you can see this case and what we're going to do is find the three colors on the corner so it's orange green and white. So find the three corresponding centers. So orange, green, and white and put them between. So it should be kind of at the closest point. So just turn the top layer. And then what we're gonna do is do the right hand out. So the right side one. So like this and you're done. Okay, now the question can arise. What if it was on the left side? So for example, over here, this white, red, and green corner white white red and green corner okay so what we're going to do is we're going to do the left hand out and the thing is when you flip it over it will look exactly like the right hand out and that's called a mirrored out 
Case number three is when the white is facing upwards and it's going to be really similar to case number one. And what we're going to do is exactly the same. Find the three colors on the corner and then find the three centers. Okay, and then put it at the closest point by turning to the top layer. And what we're going to do is exactly the same. So do the same out. Then do it again. Twice, okay, and you should get case number one. Sometimes you might get the fourth case, and the fourth case is kind of annoying since the corner is kind of stuck at the bottom, so it can be, you know, stuck in the wrong place, and how do I line it up? Well, first of all, let's bring it out, shall we? So you're going to do the first case, and remember to put this corner at the front right, okay? The left side won't work, the back side also won't work, so just do the same out as the first case, and it should bring it out. And sometimes it might give you the third case, and just solve the third case. And then you should get the second case and then you can solve it and really straightforward and you're done with the first layer and for the first step we're going to do the second layer and for the second layer you're going to look for edges that do not have yellow since all the yellow edges come over here not over here okay and after you get an edge that does not have yellow there are three cases that you can encounter so for case number one and two you're going to be on the top and for case one number one and number two what we're going to do is you're going to align them so align them so align them okay you see aligned and what we're going to do is you see there's two colors so red over here and blue over here so red center blue center then it needs to go over here does it make sense red center over here red red blue blue so it needs to go over here and what we're going to do is you're going to do case number one's out so do case number one's out and then you solved it and there's also a possibility that you might get case number two so you can see the blue and the red edge okay blue center red center so they're hinting that I need to go over here which is on the left side and for the left out which is the second case you're gonna do this and if you compare them side by side they're actually mirrored cases since you can see over here if I flip it around again it's really similar and now you might get the third case which is really annoying isn't it it's so annoying I actually hate this. So what we're going to do is first of all we're going to put it at the front right and you're going to do case number one. Everything exactly the same, okay? And after you do case number one, the edge is finally out of here! And now you can do it like case number one or two and it just happens to be case number one. There we go and the second layer is done. And now onto the yellow cross, okay? So obviously you need to solve the two layers and remember to put the white at the bottom. And now we're gonna flip all the yellow edges, not the corners, okay? Really important. And you need to know only one out and that will solve everything pretty much, okay? So it's like this. So the worst case scenario is when you look at the top and there's only a dot. So you can see all the edges are not flipped. So what we do is we do the case okay the case and after we get the case we kind of get this little shape over here and we want to make it into a, like a backwards L so it's almost like a mirrored version of a L you can see so if I look at this it's kind of a L like this but it's like a mirrored version of a L we call that the backwards L and what we're gonna do is do it out exactly the same okay now you should get a line okay the line and make sure that line stays horizontal not vertical okay vertical is bad and you're going to do it the out again so do it again and there you go you have a cross now and now on to the fifth step making the whole yellow side okay and you're going to finish OLL -O. so a quick note if you already have a fish you can see it's like fish that's called Sune that's really awkward to pronounce so I'm just going to call it Sune just wait for a moment when I teach people how to make this fish, okay? So what we're gonna do is actually pretty straightforward. So first of all, you're gonna find a corner that's not solved. So this is a soft corner, you see? The yellow is facing up, and you're gonna put it at the front left, okay? So this corner only keep put at the front right, so find a corner that you can put at the front left. So there you go. 
and you're going to do is you're going to do the first case of soon. And there you go. Now you have a soon. It might take up to two times, okay? So you might need to do that up to two times sometimes. So just keep that in mind. And now you should get the fish. And really simple to solve the fish again. There's only two cases. So it's really to identify what you need to do is just look at the head. You can see looking at the head, there's only be one point of interest. And that's, there's going to be a dot. You can see the dot over here. If it's on the left side, it's going to be the left soon case. If it's on the right side, it's going to be the right soon case. So we got the left soon case actually. So I'm going to go ahead and do the left soon case and you can follow me if you want to. And for the second case, which is actually really, again, really easy to identify, put the head in front of you and there should be only one dot peeking out and that should be this dot, okay, the yellow dot. And what we're going to do is put it on the right side and you're going to do this case. Pretty straightforward. And now onto the sixth step, PLL corners. And what you're going to look for is a pair of headlights and headlights are just two corners that just happen to have the same color on one side over here. And just ignore the edges, okay? The edges are not important, they might mislead you. And what you're going to do is you're going to put the headlights on the right hand side. And if you do not have headlights, you can also do something similar. So you're going to do an out, okay? So now what we're going to do is this, okay? And now, if you had the headlights over here, you should have it everything solved. And if you happen to be really unlucky and do not have headlights, for example, this case, what we're gonna do is really simple. You're just gonna do the case, okay? So just do the ALG, and there you go. You should get a pair of headlights. There you go. And now, onto the seventh and final step, PO edges. And what you're gonna do is, first of all, you might have a bar, so put it at the back. And again, if you don't have a bar, just wait for a moment. I will tell you how to fix that problem. And what we're going to do is look at the, you see, there's a, an edge in front of you, okay? The bar should be on the opposite side. And you're going to see if it's going towards the left side or the right side. So if I go over here, it should be solved. So that means I need to go over here, right? So if it's going towards the right, you're going to do case number one. Okay, and you should have case number one done. If it's going towards the left side, okay, going towards the left side, now we're gonna do case number two. And you may also have the third case, and in this case, you do not have a bar. So in order to get a bar, what you can do is do the first case. And you can just do it like this. And let's have a look. And you can see over here, we got a bar. And congratulations, you guys have just learned the basic version of CFOP. And check out this video where I show a bunch of ways in order to become faster at solving the Rubik's Cube using CFOP. If you found this video to be helpful or entertaining, don't forget to like and share it to someone else. And even consider subscribing and hitting that bell icon so you don't miss all the awesome content that I upload. And anyways, this is the Epic Universe, and see you next time!